and welcome back to Jules with Jay. So today we're making pumpkin cheesecake. And right now, it's I'm counting right out now. the amount of graham crackers for the cookie crust. You can use any type of cookie that you would like, that you think would go along well. So you're going to crush them up. You can put it in a plastic bag and, like, hit it. That's what I did. And then you'll get these tiny crumbs. Then you're going to melt your one-third cup of butter. And then we're gonna put this into our pan and bake it at 350 for 10 minutes. So while your crust is cooking and into when it's cooling, we're gonna make the batter. Mix so it with two ounces eggs. of cream cheese, two eggs, and two thirds cups of sugar. Then add your one fourth cup of flour. Our tiniest pinch of salt, just to contrast the sugar. If you notice, this will be the similar recipe from last time. Oh my gosh, I just realized I wanted to do half like granulated sugar and half brown sugar because, you know, brown sugar accentuates the pumpkin so well, but I forgot, so. Also, I thought it was two-thirds, like, of the can, but it's two-thirds of a cup. Wondering what to do with all the leftover pumpkin? Well, there's also different types of things you can make, like pumpkin cookies and all the things that you can make with the pumpkin, so enjoy! <laughs> is pumpkin spice. Did you know it doesn't actually have pumpkin in it? I'm going to be using some allspice since it has a blend of most of the things in pumpkin spice and I'll just add some ginger on the side. I'm worried about how this is going to turn out, but I always am. I always am. Okay, and this is probably too much information. I just saw my ginger expired in 2020, so not using that. So now, with no ginger, we're going to add two cups of yogurt. And now it's time to whisk. Make sure, just like the last time, to not over mix and make sure to mix it till it gets to a smooth batter. Here's our beautiful crust. It cooled well, which is great. Then we're gonna put aluminum foil and we're gonna be making our water bath. That's gonna be very really fun. So yeah, you just wrap the foil around your So why do we have a water bath, you might ask? Well, it actually helps the cake bake evenly. So you just add some water, like maybe half a cup, and there you go. And then you're gonna put it in like another pan, and you're gonna set the oven to four minutes. And so here's the final cheesecake. Oh, that was a shadow. I'm sorry. So okay, here's the final cheesecake. And that is the final cake. You can sprinkle some allspice, you can sprinkle some brown sugar on top. I mean, pumpkin spice, not allspice. Um, yeah, and it bakes pretty smoothly, which is great. And I'm worried that this doesn't look too good, but oh well. And um, I hope I, um, this will be uploaded after Thanksgiving. So I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I recommend not doing this at 12 to 2 a.m. because that's just probably not the best idea. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.